Reinstaller, make yourself comfortable. Today we shall tell you a tale about soul and money, how day and night came to be. In times of creation of the nine worlds, Odin, Vili and Ve, to give light to heaven above and earth beneath, took the sparks and burning embers that were flying around after they had been blown up of Muspelheim and placed them in the midst of Ginnungagap. Sun and moon were made from those sparks. There they stood motionlessly, as there was nothing to carry them through the sky. Meanwhile, in the Jotunheim, wife of Jotun Mundilfari gave birth to two beautiful children. They were so beautiful, so that they were named after the most majestic lights in the sky. The girl was named Sol, after the sun, and her brother, Mani, after the moon. Aesir were angered by Mundilfari's arrogance, so they took his children from him and made them ride in chariots to carry sun and moon through the sky. And to make sure that they will not stop or linger, they released two wolves, Skjol and Hati, to chase after them. The first wolf, Skjol, chases Sol, and Hati, the second wolf, runs ahead of Sol to chase after Mani. At times, they say, the wolves overtook and tried to swallow their prey, thus producing an eclipse of the radiant orbs. Then the terrified people raised such a deafening clamor that the wolves, frightened by the noise, hastily dropped them. Thus rescued, sun and moon resumed their course, fleeing more rapidly than before, the hungry hunters rushing long in their way, lusting for the time of Ragnarok, when their efforts would prevail and they will finally devour their prey. After the events of Ragnarok, Sol's legacy will be continued by her daughter that is no less beautiful than her mother. She will follow in the past Sol's one road. And that will be all for today about Sol and money. I hope you like the story. Let me know what you think about this tale and how Aesir made Sol and Mani ride across the sky fleeing from the wolves that chased them. Come here again with a lot of stories to tell.